Welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Anna, a presentation designer, and today I want to show you how to build transitions that support the content we're presenting. First, I want you to get familiar with the PowerPoint terms, transitions, and animations. Basically, we use transitions to animate slides and animations to animate objects within a slide. Okay, so let's start with these two slides that have continuity and a similar display. Let's go into the Transitions tab and explore a little bit. When you choose a transition, PowerPoint will give you a preview of how it will look on presentation mode. Mm, let's try Fracture. Cool. Now let's try Rotate. We can also choose between different effect options like this one. I mean, they look cool, but so far the ones we chose do not support the flow of our content. And I will show you how to achieve that with the next examples. As you can see, these two slides are text-based, even though the big E's and C's are shapes. Look! Okay, so for this example, we will start animating the objects of the first slide. Let's select the three lines with text, go to the Animations tab and click on the Add Animation button, select More Entrance Effects and choose Strips and as effect option select write up. Now let's go to add animation and this time click on more exit effects. Choose strips again and as effect select write down. Cool, now let's select the word chronicle and add fade as entrance animation and fade as exit animation too. Now select the C shape. Go to more entrance effects and choose peek in. And now, you guessed right, we need to choose an exit animation. And this time it will be peek out. <laughs> awesome. To see all the animations applied to this slide, we can click on the animation pane button and the pane will appear on the right hand side of the slide. I'm going to drag these two entrance animations to the top by just clicking and dragging. Now I want to select all. I'm gonna click on the first one, then press shift and click on the last animation. Although, you know, I don't want exit of sentence 1 in my selection, so I will press Ctrl and click on it, <laughs> and it's done. Now, let's right-click on the selection and choose Start with Previous. Great! It's time to assign timings. While pressing Ctrl, select the Entrance and Exit animation of sentence 2. Right-click and select Timing. And enter a delay of 0.5 seconds. Click OK. Let's repeat these steps for the entrance and exit animations of sentence 3. And now the delay will be of 1 second. Awesome! And for this slide, I already have all the animations done. So now, the last step is to go to the final slide to apply a transition. And we're gonna apply one of our favorites actually, which is Morph. Now let's go to the previous slide and see how everything looks in presentation mode. It looks cool, right? And it does support the content we have. Alright, now this is the last example. Here we're talking about certain project. We have the title, some description, and an image as key visual. Let's make this more impactful. I'm going to drag this text box outside of the slide. And then I'm going to click on the image, go to the Format tab, and select the Crop option. I just want this white part to be visible. Now I will move the title to the lower right hand side of the slide, make the font bigger and change the font style. So I will double click on the word project and select the lightweight style of this font. For the, I will choose semi bold. Okay, now let's duplicate the slide and make some adjustments. I want to introduce the project with our key visual. So I will select the image and select crop to make the selection wider and show what the project is about by enlarging the image as well. Click outside of the slide and now select the title, change the color to black and drag it to the left. Perfect. Now we will duplicate the slide again, drag the title outside of the slide, make the image bigger so it takes up all the slide. So we need to modify the cropped selection and enlarge the image. 
Great. Now change the font color of the description to black and put it inside the slide. Perfect. Now last step. Select the last two slides, go to the Transitions tab and apply Morph. It's done! Let's go and preview it. Ok, so first we present the project, then we introduce it with our key visual, and last we present a more detailed description or key facts about it. Nice, right? A cool way to captivate our audience. Thank you so much for watching the video, I hope this was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to level up, give a thumbs up and stay tuned for more.